Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain what to do when your iPhone ringer keeps turning on and off. First things first, it could be a hardware problem. If you're able to just tap the switch and it toggles between ringer and silent, or if there's really just no resistance, it could be a hardware problem, could be a software problem. If it is a hardware problem, or even if you think it might be a software problem, we really should clean this out. Right. So. A couple things to do. Anti-static brush, if you don't have one at home, use a toothbrush that you've already used. That you've never used before. That you've never used before. <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> what exactly? Don't use one that you've used Don't before. use your toothbrush you used this yep. morning. So just kind of scrape in there. Yep. Maybe try to get both sides too. Yep. Just get in there a little bit. And uh, you might notice some gunk come out. Yep. When you're in there, feel yep. free to brush out the charging port at yep. the bottom of your phone. Probably too. easier if you take your case off first before you do this. But Right. Well, yours is doing Yeah, fine. My, my ring style switch is in good shape. It is. Let's say it's in good shape. It's in good shape. Yeah. Right, so maybe it's a software problem. This can be caused by software issues. The first thing we're gonna look at is silence unknown callers. Right. Does what it sounds like it does. When somebody that isn't in your contacts calls you, it sends it directly to voicemail and just puts it in your recent calls list. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you might think that it's ringing for some people and it's not ringing for other people. Absolutely, so let's open the settings app. Scroll down to phone. And just make sure this switch next to silence unknown callers is turned off. Right, and if it's not working for just somebody and maybe you used to not like them, check out your blocked contacts too, because who knows? Yep. Maybe there's somebody in there. Yep. Somebody's in there, I don't know it's who that good is. good thing, you took me out of there. Thanks. Yeah, right. <laughs> So if that's all said, next thing to check is do not disturb. It's possible, it's unlikely, but it is possible that you have do not disturb scheduled. Mm -hmm. So at some points of the day, your iPhone's ringing just fine, and then all of a sudden do not disturb is scheduled, and you're right. not getting calls at night or something. Everything's going right to voicemail. Yep, so let's go back to settings, scroll up to do not disturb, and just make sure this switch next to scheduled is not on. Yeah, and do not disturb itself is not on. Yeah. Let's head back to settings and then head to sounds and haptics. Right. I just wanted to touch on this slider right here. Sometimes you're hearing sounds on your phone, but the phone's not ringing. Mm -hmm. And that can happen if your ringer is all the way down. Let's do that. And then change with buttons is off. So if you do that, you can now adjust the volume of your phone, but it's not gonna touch the volume of the ringer. And I like to have the ringer somewhere in the middle and change with buttons off so that the ringer is always gonna work. I don't have to worry about that, but I can still adjust the volume on my phone. David likes it the other way, Yep. right? So go ahead and set it up the way you like it. It's gonna play a loud noise here, but that's okay. Not too loud because of the screen recording. Oh, good, Right. great. So just be aware of that. If your ringer was all the way down, you might still be hearing other sounds on your phone, yep. but not the ringer. So now let's say it's not a hardware problem, like you're confident that you flip the switch back and forth and there's a good amount of resistance and it clicks into place. Mm -hmm. And we haven't figured out what the software problem is. A couple things we could do. The first thing is to update iOS. And the second thing is simply to reset all settings. Yes, yeah, so let's check for an iOS update yeah. first. Tap back to the main page of the settings app. Tap general, tap software update. It does look like one is available. Yep, that can fix bugs. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I'll just tap install now. Right. It'll install the update. Yep. I'm not gonna do that right now. If there's no software update to reset all settings, tap back to general and scroll all the way down to reset. Tap reset all settings. A confirmation alert will appear on the screen. You tap right. that. iPhone turns off, resets, turns back on. Before you do this, keep in mind, You'll have to re-enter your Wi-Fi password, set up your wallpaper again, reconnect Bluetooth devices, a whole mm -hmm. bunch of right. little minor. It's kind of a little bit of an annoyance, but it's worth it to fix a deep software problem. For right. Sure. And even if it doesn't work after you do the update, still do the reset all settings. Mm -hmm. As long as so at this point, hopefully you haven't wasted too much time because just be honest with yourself. You dropped it in the lake and yeah. all of a sudden it stopped working or you smashed it with a hammer. Yeah. Maybe we gotta get it repaired. Yeah. Apple Store. Set up an store. appointment before you go in, nice and easy. Yeah, and you might want to check out one of the third-party mom and pop shops too for this type of repair because the Apple Store will not just replace the ringer switch, they will have to replace the entire phone. So that can be very expensive. Absolutely. And sometimes not even worth it. Might be time for a new phone. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe it's an older phone. Yeah. Might want to go to upphone.com and compare every cell phone from every carrier all in one place. One place. Coverage yeah. maps, plans. Yeah. It's a great website. We may have created it ourselves. Yeah. Upphone.com. So that's what to do when your iPhone ringer keeps turning on and off. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, leave a comment down below. If you have any other questions, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about iPhones.